Ever since we first began to imagine that life could exist on worlds other than our own, the Red Planet has been mankind's number one suspect. And in recent years, we've also come to believe that life may also exist somewhere on the moons of Saturn and Jupiter, too. So, what evidence for this have we actually discovered? Let's find out now, as we explore the best proof we have for life on other planets. Starting at 3. Mars In 2013, the Curiosity rover detected many of the key chemical ingredients for life in the Martian soil. Sulfur, oxygen, hydrogen, phosphorus, and carbon were all present, as were signs that Mars once had oceans of liquid water. We also know that a magnetic field once existed on Mars to protect it from cosmic radiation. But this only suggests that life could have existed on the planet, not that it ever did. Like having a condom in your wallet, and using that as proof you're not a virgin. Or James Franco claiming he must brush his teeth because he owns a toothbrush. We ain't buying that for a second, Franco. In recent years, we have confirmed the existence of water ice at the caps, and salty brines beneath the Martian surface which could harbor life. And this is where many Mars missions now focus their efforts. But a more promising route of inquiry is the search for biosignatures, i.e. the substances produced by life as it uses energy and creates waste. A lander from the 1970s Viking program once detected a positive biosignature, but no subsequent landers have repeated this result. In 2003, we found more substantial evidence through the detection of methane, and its presence means that something on Mars must still be producing it today. Research suggests that microorganisms called methanogens could be responsible, and they most likely live in the underground brines mentioned earlier. But we won't know for sure until we go there and test them. So that's what we're gonna do. The ExoMars mission will have a rover on the Red Planet in the year 2020, as will NASA's Mars 2020 project with both ventures aiming to further our knowledge of any potential microorganisms living there. But it turns out they needn't have bothered, because to detect alien life, all you need to do is stand outside with an umbrella. In at 2. Alien Rain In 2014, the British microbiologist, Professor Milton Wainwright, claim to have discovered evidence of life in Earth's stratosphere. And he says this organism could not have come from our planet. The organism was captured by a balloon 27 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, and it was discovered to be a biological entity made of oxygen and carbon. This creature was only 10 micron in size, and several aspects of its discovery prove it could not have come from Earth. The sample was completely pristine, showing no traces of grass, pollen, pollution, or other Earth-native substances. Also, no known method exists for this life form to have traveled from Earth, and we know it came from space due to the presence of many tiny impact craters found on the balloon's sampler. Following on from this, in 2016, Wainwright used high-powered magnets to capture space debris once more from the stratosphere, and on this occasion, he found this cheeky little fella. This image shows a biological entity escaping a salt crystal, and again, this creature could not have come from Earth. Professor Wainwright believes these findings back up the theory of pansperma, which claims that life is spread through the universe by meteoroids, asteroids, and comets crashing into planets. But Wainwright takes this theory one step further, as he believes life from other worlds is constantly raining down on Earth in the form of these tiny microorganisms. So if that's true, who fancies stepping outside and getting drenched in alien DNA? I know I do. And number one. Fart worms. 
take a look at this neat little guy. This is a methane ice worm, discovered in Mexico back in 1997. As its name suggests, this organism lives inside methane ice, which has been pushed up from the seafloor. And if these worms can survive inside frozen methane, we think there may be similar organisms living within the oceans of methane found on Saturn's moon, Titan. One day, we hope to send a submarine spacecraft to Titan to explore its seas for signs of life. But in the meantime, we'll have to make do with a trip to Europa, the icy moon of Jupiter, which NASA plans to visit in 2022. The Europa Clipper mission was confirmed in March 2017, and Congress has ordered NASA to add a lander component to the craft to allow us to test directly for signs of life. Europa is considered our best candidate for the discovery of life in our solar system, as not only does it have a giant underwater ocean spanning the entire moon and large water plumes erupting from its surface, it also seems to have the required sources of chemical energy for microbes to thrive thanks to repeated belts of radiation caused by its proximity to Jupiter. We think it also likely it has hydrothermal vents located on the ocean floor, and such vents are hypothesized as one of the possible places where life could have begun here on Earth. Within some of Earth's vents, we've found tube worms existing in high temperatures that subside on nothing but sulfides, and such creatures could theoretically exist on Europa, and even Venus, too. Other Earth-based creatures which offer evidence that extraterrestrial life can survive elsewhere include Antarctic microbes that live without light or oxygen, bacterium which can survive high levels of radiation, and let's not forget the tardigrade, aka the water bear. This hardy chap can survive in temperatures below freezing and above boiling, can live without food or water for decades, can withstand 6,000 times atmospheric pressure and a radiation dose 1,000 times higher than any human. Oh, and they can regrow their limbs and repair their own DNA as well as being able to live easily in space. So yeah, these guys are basically invincible. And their very existence proves that if biological organisms have sprouted somewhere in the cosmos, even on a hostile planet, that life often finds a way to survive. But here's the thing about life on other planets. Are you certain that if NASA, the ESA, or another space agency discovered the existence of biological organisms on another world, that they would tell us straight away? Because they've covered up this sort of thing before, and they just may do it again. You can find out more about this in our bonus video, What NASA Knows which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash strange mysteries. This can be accessed by becoming a Patreon and signing up for a bonus video access at $2 per month, which also allows you to help us decide what videos to make, find out which topics are in the pipeline, and ask the Strange Mysteries team any questions you might have about our work, our lives, or our checkered sexual past. Patreon has become necessary since, amidst the chaos of advertisers ditching YouTube due to a few nasty videos, all other creators like us are having our arms twisted to make ad-friendly content. But we'd rather make videos about the things that interest you, and our ability to do this relies on you. For $2 a month, we can provide awesome bonus content for each video, and eventually with your support, we can go fully ad-free and dedicate our full videos to just the juiciest ideas packed full of the most mind-blowing content we can find. If you can afford it, our Patreon page can be found at this link here in the upper right with the exclamation mark circle, description box, or you can visit patreon.com forward slash strange mysteries and sign up there. If you cannot donate, then it's cool. We still love you. And we'll continue to provide the best content we can under YouTube's restrictions. As you'll see if you watch our recent video on four bizarre scientific experiments happening right now. 